So what's going on pros? This is Mike and this is a very special Dirty Promotions video. This is a product launch, a product that I uh, modified, uh, developed for the uh, pros that needed something for the rear windows, um, Jettas, um, those kind of cars that have the back lid, uh, Camaros and, uh, you know, those very pain, you know, hard pain in the ass things that you want to get to a rear window and you can't really get to it and there is a lot of products already kind of like hinting at okay this might be the device and whatever but there's always some shortcomings to what's out on the market i didn't i even had um like a, a meat cleaver that was long and all that kind of stuff it, 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 it still didn't cut it because the rear windows of a jetta and those kind of cars i forget the other one uh the, you know the cousin of the jetta have a little bit of a slant down and has a panel and for anybody to get in here so let's say your product is kind of like straight so you have a curved window and you your product goes in straight so it creates a lot of pressure so when you pull it out uh some of the film and whatever was disturbed and up the bubbles again and all that bullshit right so there's always had like i said tools i mean i i've had years of uh, documented uh, you could research on the uh, Facebook uh, forums and whatever. I've always talked about my disgust with some of the tools that are, there are a lot of them. I mean, we have boxes and boxes of shit that just doesn't work. And me as an applicator, I have the advantage of being an applicator, thinking out, sitting uh, down and looking at all these products and just borrowing some ideas from some of them and then collectively uh, coming and producing something that is actually effective. That is what I really want to sell. I do not, I'm do. i not in the business to sell shit that just kind of like does 30% of what you need. And well, you're fucking stuck. You know, another tool in your tool chest, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I'm very happy to announce. Um, I have already uh, worked with the uh, manufacturer of the tools, some of the tools that I've been doing. And um, they custom made a 3D prototype of, uh, you know, several type of, uh, uh, polypropylene or hard plastic product and till I was satisfied I sent them some samples of what I needed and all that stuff so you know working around back and forth sent me uh, uh, probably about three months ago the prototype actually two of them and one of them went straight to the trash can because it wasn't ex you know exactly what I needed and lo and behold I have one and then so I used it uh, very very effectively on the uh, windows that give us a lot of problems including windshields of some of the vehicles that are very hard to reach we do have the side swipe we have the the the, the stroker the longer one etc etc but they're all straight and they always give you problems with windows that are curved you stick them in there straight and there it is it'll stay stuck and you know not do the things not go all the way to the bottom etc etc so there this is a tool and i created uh this color not necessarily to match uh, the all-in-one that I that I also had produced for me. But I did it this color because we're going to be working in back windows. And I didn't want you to leave it in a car because the other ones are like white or whatever, right? And we might not see it. So this is very easy to not, you know, forget in the, in, in the car. You know, hopefully we won't forget it. So I want you to check this out. There's two angles that I created on this one. There is an angle here to create a little bit of pressure. And flexibility and then the second angle is right here right at the tip there is this angle that will give you the ability to do the pushing go all the way down that's one of the things that we don't have some of the tools like I think there's a whale uh, tail thing that is awesome you know I have this negative or reverse curve but at the same time it doesn't have a, a good place to grab it there is a light um, uh, flexible and there are medium more rigid of that whale tail thing and that tool I used for many years it was very effective but I will be very honest on some of the rear windows that have a light a rear light that is this close to the glass it was a problem I would stick that whale thing in there and it would grab my film so we kind of had to load up on the on the juice spread a little bit of juice around the light and then do it as kind of like methodically in a in, in a very you know, like, you know, figure out a way to whoom and whoom that way. But it's still like if you sell this tool or the whale or whatever, you cannot pass that tip to like 30,000 installers. They might be fucking up some windows eventually down the road. This tool does not have that problem. It does not have that problem.
okay? So after having it uh, trial and error for, for that amount of time, I said, okay, it's going to be, be manufactured for me. There it is, the name. I had it uh, logoed out and everything. Dirty one. And let me tell you a little bit about this tool, okay? So you have this negative, nice curve and stuff like that. Um, as these tools, the dirty tools that I produce and such, of course, they come naked like this. And so this right here, well, it's a little bit sharp. So if you're going to be doing the bottom, you can do it very successfully without anything on it. And it'll work. But yesterday that I was doing with my prototype, I did notice. And, and this is a window film that is like always touted as scratch coat, famous, good and all that. It doesn't scratch and whatever. Well, this one, when I was taken out on, on a pretty slanted back window that I just didn't want to monkey around with some of the other tools. Because when you put heat on a back window to get rid of a very small problem area at the bottom, when you put heat on the window... And you put one of the rubbery squeegees, like a side side pin, whatever. That rubber and the heat, they don't get along. It'll touch the film where it's heated and then get stuck. And then when you try and swipe it, if it gets stuck in your finger, it might get creased. Okay? We've done it, dude. Doing this shit 34 years, you're going to run into every fucking scenario. And I'm telling you, I've done that. And installers can probably attest to the same, like it'll get stuck in whatever. This tool does not have that problem. If you want to use it bare and naked, like with this, it's fine and dandy. You can, but way at the bottom, you're going to get a couple of scratches. I scratch the film with the world's greatest hard coat. Um, you know, a couple of little things that I notice. Customer is not going to notice, but you always have that 0.001% asshole that's going to like give you a hard time and whatever on something that he spotted with a one of those lenses, what they call it, like magnifying glasses or whatever. So in order for you to walk away from that, you can install, as I already did, my buffer in the bottom and two layers of this nice Teflon tape. And that's the way I've been using my prototype for the last three months. And mira, perfecto, perfect, man. Glide, glide. I do everything to where it reaches and all that kind of stuff. And then I use my um, side swipe as best as I can. And then the bottom area that I can't really reach, you know, go down. And, and, and the great thing about this one uh, I, I, when I had it created, I knew that I had to do it ambidextrous, meaning it's going to work for your fucking right and it's going to work uh, for your left and for your right. Not like a little slanted this way or a little slanted that way. No, 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 man. Forget all that bullshit. A lot of reach for behind the light and, um, and for the right and for the left. And this right here itself gives you all the ability to go ahead and do whatever it is that you got to do. Reach all the way to the bottom. Very difficult to dance. This right here, my friends, is superb. It is badass. One thing that I will tell you not to do that I've done in videos and showed you is this material, although it might look similar in color, is not the same material as this. This material is a flexible hard material. This is not flexible. Okay, It might be to the very most minimum you know, do some stuff to it, but it goes back to its original. You know, anyway, so this plastic, you can put heat and all that with the uh, with the uh, Teflon tape and whatever. This guy, do not do it. As soon as you put a torch or whatever, it's going to warp and stay. Um, it'll mess it up. So don't do it. Do this right here. Not a heat gun or nada. That's why I have this buffer on the bottom um, that I have, uh, proprietary. And uh, you put it first so that your tape will stick very, very well. And it does. It sticks very well. You do all your things to the back window whenever this kind of gets cut up and whatever on the tip and whatever. I'll remove it, put a new one. I'm, I'll tell you this right now. If I could um, put tape on all these guys for all the 30,000 people that buy from me and stuff like that, I would do it. I don't have time to do it anymore. I mean, I'm I'm still doing it for this guy, and I'm kind of like, man, I can't catch my tail. I mean, it just sells so much, and I have to tape up all these guys. Eventually, I'm just going to have to, like, uh, just buy it from the website. Whenever you buy this one, I'll give you the, the things here so you can put them on yourself because, honestly, I'm the more that the company grows thanks to you, um, I have less and less time to monkey around with this, and, of course, from uh, manufacturers can't do this. 
Uh, I could have told the manufacturer to put a little rubber strip here, but then it goes back to the problems that we have with the current one out there. The current one out there is kind of like, mm, más o menos, uh, that uh, back window thing uh, that we use. But that rubber thing goes to whatever I told you. If you have a little stubborn finger somewhere and you put heat on it, and then you put that rubber thing, that rubber thing is going to stay stuck a little bit. And then when you pull up, well, that's where the problems arise. Ask me how I know. Okay, so I did develop the tool so that we could go around all those problems, okay? Back window, fucking, you know, the Jettas and uh, I forget the other one, the cousin of it, uh, the more expensive one. Uh, this kind of stuff right here, no problem reaching the bottom all the way to the left corner, all the way to the right corner, center, behind the light. That's why I made it long enough so it can go to, you know, through the back light and whatever and do everything that you need it to do. And it's ready for sale. Guys, I'm very excited. Tickle is a pig and shit. So I'm going to put it up on a website, got willing, by the end of the day. I'm going to take some pictures. Like I said, I will not sell it with this. When you buy it, there is an option to buy uh, Teflon tape. That way you can have a lot of it. A uh, little roll doesn't cost that much at all, and you'll have it for millions of uses, believe me. This stuff is very durable. Why? Because I've already had it for three months. There is absolutely nothing that has happened to it with our monkeying around doing whatever. All right? So, guys, probably by the end of the day, probably by tomorrow, uh, I'm very happy, very excited. It'll be on the website for you to purchase. If you have any questions, hit me up. Have any ideas for tools that people have given me and stuff like that? Hit me up. Guys, have an awesome day.